In this video, I will demonstrate how to create simple XMLP report based on PS Query. I will start by creating PS Query, then design template on Microsoft Word. Later, we will use this PS Query and template in XMLP configuration. Before I start this demonstration, I will give a link below which explains XMLP in a detailed manner. As shown in the picture, data source and layout template are maintained independently to create more flexibility. Let's begin to create PS Query, which pulls randomly four vouchers from voucher record. Click on create new query, search for voucher record, add record, check all the fields, go to criteria, add criteria, Select expression, click new expression, add row num. It should be less than 5 to pull first 4 vouchers or randomly 4 vouchers. Click OK and run our PS query. Now you can see randomly 4 vouchers. Click download to XMLP. You can see it's downloaded. Save our query. Make sure it is a public uh, query. Then our PS query is ready. Before we begin to de design XMLP template on Microsoft Word, we need to install PeopleSoft plugin. I'll give you a link below which shows how to install plugin. XMLP template can be designed on Microsoft Word in rich text format or PDF editor. I will use Microsoft Word um, rich text format. Let's create new Microsoft Word document and rename it with .rtf format. Open the document, click on sample XML and load the previously downloaded XML and data is loaded successfully. Click on insert button to create a table structure. It loops through every row. Select the fields which you want, want to use on the report. You can change color, add header, footer, anything you want to do, like regular Microsoft Word. I'm just giving some meaningful labels. Once you are done, you can preview the output of the XML template. The first row doesn't look good, so I, I need to extend the vendor column a little bit. Yeah, now it looks good. Let's start configuring uh, XMLP. The first one is data source, which represents the input data for our report. Create a new data source. Data source can be PS Query, Connected Query, or XML. Choose our PS Query. Add. Provide some description. And save the data source. Next one is uh, creating new report definition. 
This report definition links the template with our data source. In our case, it is PS Query. Create a new report definition. Give some name for our report. This will become the report name for our XMLP. Select the PS Query data source which we created before. Click Add. Make sure you give some description. Report status should be active. Report category is the permission list. Who should view the report? Click all user. Go to the template tab. Make sure it is active and upload the Microsoft template which we created before. Go to the output tab. This shows what should be the output of our report. In our case, let's choose PDF. Save report definition. Now we are ready to go. Everything is set up. Let's run our report. Search using our report name and click view report. Bingo, you can see the XMLP output now. Hope you like my video. Don't forget to subscribe. I will come up with more videos soon. Thank you so much.